Welcome back to another episode of My Legacy Garage. Today, I'm gonna go a little different. It's still, you know, automotive related, just small. It's a go-kart. Man, that's a lot easier than pushing some old truck around. I guess the first thing we need to do is make sure it runs. Supposedly it does. Then maybe we'll take it for a little rip and see what it needs. I do know roll cage is it's optional. We're gonna delete that. Let's see here. I guess we uh, turn the fuel on. Turn the ignition on, give it some choke, maybe a little throttle. Maybe it needs to warm up first, huh? Take the choke off. Did I start it from right here? Total lack of brakes. That's a, that's a problem. We should do something about that. Oh, coming in hot. Hey. Yeah, we definitely need brakes. Just as a quick reminder, we're at Thunder in the Valley up in Johnstown, PA, right now. This video goes live while we're there. So hey, if you see us, say hi. We'll give you a sticker. Let's take a closer look at this power plant, shall we? It's a standard Harbor Freight replacement motor. I'm not even sure who the manufacturer is, but I did look it up. It says right there it's 212cc gasoline engine. It's 6.5 horsepower overhead valve. It runs good, doesn't smoke, starts pretty easy. I'm happy with it. I think it'll do just fine. Carburetor, it appears to be new. The exhaust appears to not be new, but it functions. I checked the oil, we're good there. This chain, and maybe even the sprocket appear to be new. The clutch looks like it might be new too. Hmm. Somebody put a little work into it and they even gave it this handy dandy gray paint job. Except for the roll cage, which I'm not going to put back on it either. We do need to make some safety improvements though. First and foremost, this here pedal, it should be connected to something that, you know, makes brakes work, but it's not. There are some remnants of some previously enjoyed brakes down here. 
I reckon we should do something about that. Notice anything missing on the seat? It's a pretty nice seat, but uh, yeah, there's no seat belt at all. I think I'd like to put a seat belt on it for the kiddos. This is not the first go-kart to grace our presence. I bought one for AJ years ago. Didn't know it was some sort of weird racing go-kart until we got it running and it sounded a little hoppy. I took it for a little ride and I was like, yeah, it's, it's, got, it's got a little bit. So I let him take it for a ride and he promptly wrecked it. I mean, he might have made it 20 or 30 feet before he had it in the field, but he wrecked it. This one's pretty quick too. Not as fast as that one was, but it's quick. I think we need to come up with some sort of a block or something there on that fuel pedal so that it can only go so far. I'll figure something out. Put a bolt in or something. I'm not sure. But I think we need to govern it just a little. The brakes, that'd be a big improvement. Let's see what we can do about that, shall we? I've got a shiny new brake kit here for it. But like anything else, it's not going to be as simple as just bolting it on. It's never simple here, ever. Let me show you why. The remnants of this brake kit right here, you can see where this was right on this brake drum here. But the issue is, it looks like it had gotten caught down there in that frame rail because this bolt, it just, it doesn't go out far enough. The brake shoe was only half riding on this drum. So I think we need to extend this bolt out a little bit more so that we can get more of the brake material contacting this so that it doesn't get jammed up between that frame and the drum again because I'm pretty sure that's what happened to it and tore it all up. Progress has been made. I've got a grade 8 bolt in there with a spacer to hold the brake shoe out further so that it's actually on the drum. I got the cable run, some minor redneck engineering with some hose clamps to hold the cable. It's a bit long, so we did some fancy rerouting. And then we got it up here, and we've got another grade 8 bolt in there, along with some springs for some brake action. So now, when you hit the pedal, it has brakes. won't move. I love it. Now the seat belt. That might actually be trickier than getting that all worked out. This side will be fairly easy. This is the clicker side. We're going to put it right there so they can click into it. About, probably about just like that. The other side is a, well it's a bit more tricky. Let's get this side bolted in and then We'll figure out how to do that side because that's the right way to do it, right? Just figure it out as you go. <laughs> so, something like a bolt, a lock washer, and a nut should be all you need. It's not like this thing's going to be going, going like Mach 12 or anything. Surely, this will be good enough to keep you from flying out of it and dying. I mean, it is for, you know, the kids. It should be safe. Us adults, we're not. We're not interested in it at all. We're, I mean, we're beyond such things. Well, why doesn't that fit? Uh, come on now. Apparently, a 15 millimeter bolt head equals a 17 millimeter nut. I didn't know that was the way math worked. That was much easier. Safety. Look at that, see? It's all about safety, third or fourth-ish around here. That was the easy side. Now we gotta do this side. If I could mount it right there to the engine thingy majiggery. Plenty of room there. Just gotta drill it out a little bigger and put a bolt in it. That's what we're gonna do. As you can see, there isn't a nice plate beside the seat on this side to mount the seat belt to. I thought to myself, self, there has got to be an easier way to do this. So I went and I found my step bit. So let's see what we can do with that. I can't really see it here, can you? Fun fact, both batteries are dead. Finally got that bolt in there. We now have a functional seat belt. And functional brakes. I think that was all that was on our checklist, isn't it? 
Tires, they're in pretty good shape. Front ones are just the miniature little things. Steering is uh, noisy, but um, you know, it functions good enough. All right, folks, the time has come to test it and see if I die. I hope y'all liked seeing the go-kart get fixed up and made, you know, safe for the children. Because it's for them. If you did like it, hit the like button. You know, we, we appreciate it. It helps us out. And uh, it lets people know it's a fun video to watch. And I hope it was fun. Speaking of which, you know what else is fun? Hitting the subscribe button. It's free. doesn't cost you anything, but it means a lot to us. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching another episode of My Legacy Garage. We'll see you next time.